So in this tutorial we are going to use ArcGIS in order to create a geological map like this one for example and then export it as an image like this one for example and print it. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to add the geological map of Europe that I downloaded from USGIS website. So click on add data, then add the whole geology of Europe. So if you want to know how to download this geological map of Europe, you can watch my video on how to download the geological map of any location for free. So now I'm going to add the file of Switzerland in order to get only the geology of this country. So I'll click again on add data and then I will click on this file, then I will click on add. So here we go, as you can see this is the shapefile boundary of Switzerland. If you want to know how to download this shapefile of any country you can watch my video on how to do that. So I'm going to clip the geology of Switzerland in order to do this. Go to geoprocessing and then click on clip. Here for the input feature we are going to input the geology of Europe and for the clip feature we are going to put the file of Switzerland so here you can specify where you want to save your output click on name it click on save and then click on ok at the end of this operation you will get the shape file containing the geology of Switzerland from here I am going to use the, the layout view in order to make a geological map so click on this small button next to data view it's layout view so here I'm going to change the print setup click on landscape and then okay then i will go ahead and resize my frame okay i will zoom into my map so the first thing that i'm going to do is to create the legend of this geological map so i will open the attribute table of this file as you can see we got a bunch of columns but the most important column for us is this glg column which contains the geological formations so I will, I will go ahead and create a new legend for this map in order to do this go to your file layer click on properties and then go to symbology and click on categories here for the value field we are going to put the glg which stands for the geological formations i will click on add all values as you can see those are the geological formations of our logical map or uncheck this all other values or click on apply and then okay as you can see we got our geological map with the code color of each geological formation so i will start by adding this legend i will go to insert and i will click on legend so i will go ahead and put only the legend of our shape file i will click on next this is the title of my legend click again on next i will then again click on next next then finish so here we go as you can see i got my legend right here so i will get rid of this title right click on your legend go to properties go to items right click on your layer go to properties and i will and select show layer name then i will click on okay apply and then okay i think i will remove the title of my legend go to general relate to title click on apply and i will even remove the second title i will uncheck show hidden click on apply and then okay so this looks perfect for me i will go ahead and insert for example the north arrow click on north arrow i'll go ahead and use this one i will put it here increase the size I will go ahead and add a scale bar. Now go again to insert, click on scale bar. I will go ahead for example and use this simple one. Click on OK. So we will modify the, this scale bar. Right click on it, go to properties. For the scale and units, we will go ahead and use kilometers. For the label position, we are going to put it after labels. Here we will put KM. For the numbers and marks, I will leave it to default. For the format, we'll 
set the color to black the fill color of our scale bar I will click on apply and then ok so you can play with the size of your scale bar until you find a suitable value so I will zoom in a little bit to fill the space inside of this frame so there you go I think that this zoom is perfect I will resize this scale bar now we'll go ahead and put coordinates on this frame in order to do this click inside of this frame right click and go to properties click on grids and we will create a new grid click on measured grid click on next 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 and finally finish click on apply so as you can see we got these coordinates but we will go ahead and modify the looking of these coordinates so we will click on our newly created grid and go to properties so for the axis we will lead them all for the labels we will only lead the top and the left we will uncheck right and the bottom for the size of our coordinate system we will set it to 12 and we will click on additional properties and we will go to this number format in order to eliminate those digits we will put zero click on ok and then ok apply and then ok so we will click on apply to see how this looks so it looks great but needs more refinement so click again on properties and we will go ahead to line and we will put do not show lines or ticks in order to delete those lines inside of our frame so for the system i will relate to default and for intervals I think I will keep those intervals so I will click on OK click on apply and then OK so here we go as you can see we got our geological map with the legend of those formations so now we will go ahead and import this map as an image so head over to file click on export map and here you can name it and for the save type i always save it to png and for the resolution always set it to 300 then click on save so here you go this is the image that we have just exported from arcgis so as you can see we got it our map as an image ready for print so i hope that you got some value from this tutorial if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials